Hello and welcome to this video series on Composer. Now in this video we're going to go ahead and tackle the easy part of this video series and that's locating the software and installing it. So first off let's head over to our favorite browser, in my case it's Firefox, and you just type in Composer, that's K-O-M-P-O-Z-E-R, into your favorite search engine, mine being Google, and usually the first one that's going to pop up is the one we're going to want, or in this case need. And that's Composer, and gives you a few of the uh, additional links here. You can just go to Download Composer. Now, I suggest whenever you get a chance, check out some of these other options here. Of course, that's after you watch all these videos. And uh, now, if you cannot understand anything that I'm saying because English is not your language, then you want to go to Localizations here and add the appropriate language plugin. And you can see them here. And it gives you some info here on the installations and troubleshooting and such. But since that is a little beyond the scope of this video. We want to go to Download Composer. And if you happen to end up on the composer.net site, for example, here, then all you want to do is go and click on Download and this will take you to the page we were just at that's composer.net download.php and so on any if you have the uh, windows you want to choose as your operating system you want to choose this top one macintosh this one linux uh this one correct yep yeah, this one and so on now if you really want to get down and dirty and get into the source code then this is what you want to download, but that's a little bit of the pay grade of this video s series as well. So we want to go here, or you just click on this if you are a Windows operating type person. Click on that. It will bring up our screen here. And I'm going to download it to the desktop. And you see where we got this. Okay. It's always beneficial to know where the items are located at once you've downloaded them. It saves you a bunch of time and having to search all over the place trying to find that. And there we go. Okay, good to go. Let's get this guy out of the way. And let's get this guy out of the way. And let's pull this into the fray. Now then, let's go ahead. Now, I'm using Windows Explorer... I'm sorry, Windows XP. I'm sorry about that. Windows XP uh, Professional. So uh, you can always right click on the zip file and go to unzip. Now I've installed Zip Genius, so this kind of overrides my uh, default uh, unzipping tool from Windows XP. But if you happen to have Zip Genius, which is free by the by, um, you just go here, extract here, that creates a folder on in the same area as the zip file is located. As you can see, there's a lot of goodies in here that's unzipping right now. And just out of the uh, scope of this screen is the folder, which I will now bring into. Okay, let me close this out first. There. Open this up. Now, there we go. Now, one of the cool things about Composer is that it is not installed onto your computer. Whereas in prior versions of NVU, I believe it is. It's actually an installation exe that, or it's exe uh, file that is actually installed on your computer. So you can see this is the contents and there isn't any installation or installer here. All you do, this guy right here, the little icon for Composer, the, you can just double click on this to open up and start the program. Now I'm kinda lazy and I don't want to have to come into this folder each and every time to do that. So I just right click on this and send to desktop. And you see right here, 
where it says create shortcut. That's going to create a shortcut on my computer's desktop. And as you can see, I've already done this, so this is what it looks like. And on your desktop, you can tell that it'll have a little black arrow there. That tells you that this is a shortcut. And if you hover your mouse over it, it'll show you where on your computer you've got it, you know, the little box right there, where you've got it stored. So let's go ahead and open it up. Double click on it, or you can right click and then left click on open, whatever floats your boat. And I know this is a little bit bloated outside of the screen and all, but I just wanted to show you that once you open it up, by default, the tips menu pops up, and this is just loaded with all kinds of cool info. Um, so I leave this checked actually right down here. That way it shows tips at startup, either for things to remind me of things I've already gone over or know about, uh, or to simply, hey, learn something new. I'm always into learning something new. So I leave this box ticked. That's totally up to you. You can untick it. That way whenever you open up the software, this will not show up. You can always go and find this later on, though, if you'd like. By clicking on, actually, as I bring this down here, go up here to help and click on tip of the day. Bada bing, bada boom. There you go. So, uh, oh, and over here it tells you that there's 17 tips. This is the first one. You can just scroll through them as such here. Uh, but that's pretty much it. That's how easy it is to not only locate Composer, but also install it. And actually, that's kind of a misnomer. You're not really installing it. You're just uh, uh, creating a shortcut, per se, on your desktop. Uh, so you can open this up rather easily without having to go to the folder each and every time to open up your HTML editor known as Composer. Thank you much for watching this quick little video on locating and installing the software Composer. Have a great day. To watch the next part of this video, go to the audiobookwholesaler.com. You'll find the videos under the training videos link. This is just one of several series available in our free video section.